two chefs from Loveless Cafe that are going to do the judging. The one chef first is Scott Peck, and Scott Peck grew up in a household where cooking was a family affair. As a result, Scott learned to cook at an early age and found he liked it. He enjoys all method of food presentation, from action stations to plated dinners, and likes to develop creative solutions to clients' culinary requests. When not in the kitchen, Scott is an avid outdoorsman where he spends time with his dogs, Prince and Pistol, and plays disc golf. Melinda Dibble is assistant pastry chef. After living in over 35 states with her military family, Melinda earned her food service and event management degree from Johnson and Wales University. After school, she moved to Nashville, where she became the lead baker at Vanderbilt University. In addition to her love for whipping up delicious desserts at Loveless Cafe, Melinda also enjoys photography, reading, and tending her apartment garden. The first entrance we're go is going, to, their recipe is titled Home Style Sausage Gravy and Biscuits. Okay, now the chefs have been served tomato, herb, Swiss biscuit bake. Love, I advise you. It's hard to find and harder yet to 
key. Those pretty girls are thinking while you're sleeping. They have a plan for you that's nice and neat. Chance on love and lost it. Gamble on the bitter and the sweet. She flattened my wallet and my ego. This time around, I feel that I've been beat. They have a plan for you that's nice and neat. Turn your head and you'll knock you off your feet. Now the judges are being served. Cloud biscuits with bell mead fruit. I was frightened in my heart and cold to the bone as I wandered in my dream through that city of stone. That serve us as a warning How our passing deeds are writ in stone Now the judges have been served biscuit pudding with bourbon sauce. Just plain 
it on a lonesome wind. She knew I had to keep on moving. And her love for me, she'll defend. She deserves so much more than I can give her. Shed a tear and blame it on the lonesome wind. Like the wind, I travel through the valley and climb so many mountains. I've crossed all the great wide ocean, and like the wind, my soul will never die. Climb so many mountains. I've crossed all the great wide ocean, and yeah. like the wind, my soul will never die. Scott and Melinda have been served cherry pinwheels. We have, the order has been picked from savory to sweet and for their palates. So that's why we're going in these orders. The next, the chefs have been served biscuit cup, biscuit bliss cup with chocolate mousse and buttermilk biscuits. The chefs have read the recipes in advance, so they have looked and, and have spent time studying the recipes. And they've all, they've been quite impressed.
The final recipe that's being served is lavender lemon blueberry biscuits with, with ice with ice lavender honey ice cream. While the scores are being tallied, uh, I've had some questions that people wanted to ask Chef Scott Peck and Melinda Dibble. And so uh, the first question is, and, and is, 
Who inspired you to become a chef? Hello. Uh, I would say the person who probably most inspired me to be a chef uh, was an old um, Cajun TV chef from the 90s. Used to watch him every Saturday morning with my father, uh, Kevin Wilson. Dibs? Um, I would have to say my grandmother did. Um, she was a very in the kitchen, the family and everything like that was always in the kitchen, conversating, things like that. And she kind of pushed me a little towards doing the, the baking and pastry and culinary aspects of things. Another question is, what are three keys to making a great biscuit? Hmm, three keys. Well, I'll give my three and then he can give his three. Um, I would have to say the ingredients is the most important thing. Um, next probably would be the mixing method. You don't want to overmix, but you don't want to undermix. Then the final thing would be the temperature of your oven. Uh, those kind of components is what makes a good biscuit, I believe. So. I would have to agree with Dibs. Um, the only one more thing I think you could add would be the love. And a third and final question. Do you need a lifeline? Oh, you're too young for that one. <laughs> what is the most frequently ordered dish at Loveless Cafe? I don't know. Everything's so great, I think. Um, I think we're gonna do our fried chicken. Our fried chicken is the most ordered dish. However, our biscuits is the most common eaten. Am I right? Am I right? No, I don't. I don't know. What about you? No, it's, it's definitely the fried chicken. See, fried chicken. There you go. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for judging and thank you for being here. And we thank Loveless Cafe for the support of this contest. And now what we're going to do is present the winners. And I'm going to get the results. And I'm going to ask the top three to come up on stage in no particular order. And Rogers Anderson, the chairman of the Williamson County Fair and the mayor of Williamson County, will present the checks. He's leading a great fair, isn't he? And I'd also like to invite up to the stage in no particular order, Matt Doberful, Chris McCorkle, and Nancy French. And we'll do a check presentation and then I want you to stay up for some photos with the chefs. going to begin with third place and third place goes to Matt Doberfall. Second place goes to Nancy French. Matt's dessert was Biscuit Bliss Cup. 
Nancy made tomato herb Swiss biscuit bake. And the grand prize, first place, goes to Chris McCorkle with her lavender lemon blueberry biscuits with lavender honey ice cream. Good job, all of you. And that concludes the Loveless Cafe Biscuit Contest. We do have some Loveless Cafe brochures and uh, catalogs over on the table. Stoppers here in Williamson County. Well, we are a organization. We are a charitable nonprofit organization who work with the media, law enforcement, and especially the community to help keep our community in Williamson County safe. Number one, we're not paying you. We're not paying those Crime Stoppers. We're paying the people that call in those 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 uh, tips. Yes. And that helps us just to have a better community. It's important to know that we have a 96% conviction rate on crimes that are called in to Crime Stoppers. We have to give them a reason to come forward with the information they know. People think they get into the court system, they're gonna to have to testify, they'll have to take off from work. You do not, if you call that tip to Crime Stoppers, you don't have to go to court. You don't have to go to the police station. You don't identify anybody. All you do is give us the information and we'll take it from there. Too many of Tennessee's students drop out of high school. If you ask them why, you'll probably hear they just can't keep up because they don't have the reading skills. Success in school is based on success in reading, and learning to read starts with hearing words. With young children, storybook reading, particularly family storybook reading, plays a special and important role. Had a great, what's the last word? Small. Good. Have fun with reading. Read the directions on the box and bake a cake together. Create a scrapbook, write a family cookbook, or a newsletter. <laughs> that looks like you. Um, what about the triangle? A triangle face? Work with your child to cut coupons and make a grocery list. Write thank you notes to grandparents. Read a book about different Brain. occupations. Then ask your child what they would like to be when they grow up. Ah, you could be, maybe. What about an eye doctor, just like your granddaddy? My eye doctor is much more. Um, he works with some glasses. He does work with some glasses. Don't underestimate the impact that reading can have on your child's future. Choose success. Choose reading. This Choose Success moment has been brought to you by the Middle Tennessee P16 Council. For more information about children and reading, contact your local school system. <laughs>